Hello, welcome to Somi's Chai and Chat. Today we will continue about Gandhi's journey, which is a very important one, to Pretoria. Stay tuned. Yesterday we saw that when Gandhi was getting ready to travel to Pretoria, Sait Abdullah insists Gandhi to buy a bedding for the overnight journey. He also had bought a first class ticket to travel. Remember there are different classes to traveling in the on the train. And he got first class ticket which is the highest class tickets that they can um, buy gandhi got that bought that and he didn't get the bedding just to be more economical that's where we stopped today we will continue from there what happened afterwards so gandhi didn't have the bedding and um, he was traveling on the train and the train started from durban then it went through martisburg it is the capital of natal and he talks about 9 pm that is in the night at 9 pm beddings are provided in that station so when the train stopped there a servant came to gandhi and asked him if he wanted a bedding Gandhi was taking his own bedding with him so therefore he said no he didn't want it but he was in the first class still next what happened is another passenger comes in and he is not colored person he is a he is white and he comes in and he saw that Gandhi is a colored in quotes colored person colored man and the white person didn't like that him being in the first class along with his he has to go through with a colored person in that um, that same setting that same class he didn't want it so what happens is he goes out and brings two officials with him and another official comes in and says that gandhi has to leave the compartment gandhi says i have a first class ticket why should i leave the compartment and the official says that doesn't matter you have to leave the compartment now but gandhi was that damned he did not want to leave the compartment because he bought the ticket to to go in travel first class so he did not want to leave the compartment and he says i am permitted to travel in this compartment i am be traveling from durban so i insist to keep on going but the official was also insisting that he has to leave the compartment and otherwise the police will be called and he'll be pushed out from there i really like gandhi's um, determination here and courage more than anything the courage here and he says i refuse to get out of here voluntarily he didn't care what people thought he did not care how it was inconvenience how long it took he did not care all he cared was it was not fair for him to get out of that train because he had a ticket let's just pause here right and think of that scenario how many times have we come across different scenarios like that in our lives have we ever come across any scenario like that have we ever been in a situation like that not exactly the same situation but similar situation what have been our thoughts in our minds what have been our actions have we ever stood up for ourselves this is very very powerful um action by gandhi according to me and 
i can totally feel that is a defining moment of a person what you are standing up for yourself and nobody else is there you don't care if he gets pushed out you don't care if he get if he misses the train you don't care what happens to the case all he cares at that point is he does not want to get out because it is not fair that he has a first class ticket and just because of his skin color he's been pushed out of the train and after that a constable comes in he took gandhi's gandhi by hand and pushed him out pushes him out of the compartment his luggage was also taken out he was still refusing to go get out but he was pushed out and he refused to go go to another compartment and go and sit there and travel to pretoria he did not go there he just got pushed out he sat outside in the waiting room with his just handbag in his hands with him and no other luggage and gandhi says at that time it was winter in south africa and winter in in higher regions especially where the train had stopped at that time was cooler temperature and gandhi didn't have any thing coat overcoat that could keep him warm that night and but he did not care he did not care that it was cold he did not care it was night he did not care that he was miss he missed the train and he did not care to go and sit in the other compartment compromising all he cared was it was not fair just because of his color he was being pushed out even though he had a first class ticket Gandhi just sits there in the waiting area shivering no light in the room and another passenger comes sometime to talk to him Gandhi is in no mood to talk to anybody at that time all he is thinking is should he fight for his rights or should he go back to India should he go to Pretoria without minding this insult and still fight for the case or should he go back to india right after finishing the case he also thought it would be um it made him feel coward if he did go back without fulfilling his obligation as in the case that he was going to go to pretoria to fight therefore he wanted to complete what he had come for he didn't want to go back without completing his work another thought that goes through gandhi's mind at this time is he was thinking it's a superficial scenario that he was subjected to all it was was he was just asked to leave the compartment was because of his skin color but at that time he also went into deep thinking that the color brought this kind of thinking in people the prejudice it had is it a disease what about other people suffering hardship because of their skin color why should they be may put in the wrong doing because of their skin color all these thoughts and much ob- obviously much more deeper than what he probably has spent down here it is more about the suffering the the thoughts and the resistance the courage gandhi had at that point which 
made him what made him what he became later on in life this is empowering when i read this i get i feel the knot in my throat i feel like crying i get my eyes get teary when i read this going through that because of your skin color it reminds me of any situation that i must have had because i couldn't do something because i was a girl or i couldn't do something because i was short um, i couldn't uh, do something because i have a brown skin i have darker skin or i'm not good looking and it also reminds me of other people especially in living in us now going through this black life matter blm campaign all over the country and it really hits home even after almost 150 years or 200 years later is still living in this world with the same thinking we haven't progressed in the way of thinking we may have all this technological advancements but our thinking is still the same what happened next gandhi decided to go to pretoria he took the next available train he went there and he also informed sit abdullah about what happened in the station and uh, he was not happy obviously with telling about all these things to even to sit abdullah after um, reaching to his um, boss that is a sait abdullah they called wired wire it probably is a telegram i'm thinking and uh, sait abdullah with his indian merchants who had contacts uh, arranges for his friends to take care of gandhi and when gandhi goes uh, meets those people they narrate their stories of how they are being treated because of their skin color and that makes gandhi think that no matter we have first class ticket or second class ticket just because of our skin color railway officials always give some trouble to them or even white people they give trouble to them and in the gandhi starts thinking about all the other indians who were living in south africa and going through all these hardships listening to their stories it was only when he experienced that he could connect to them their stories so well and then he booked a train for the next day and uh, reserved a berth and also bought, purchased bedding ticket which he had refused before and with this we'll come to a reflection i'm sure you would have already reflected on this when you were thinking about or when we were going over what gandhi went through still take extra time to think about what are the scenarios that you were thought it was not fair because of your whatever physical appearances that you were not allowed to do something reflect on those things and use that power to to empower yourself don't make it victimizing feeling it's not for victimization it's more to generate that power it creates and some sort of energy in ourselves when we think of those scenarios let's use that energy to think positively rather than thinking like a victim and more of a negative way with that i'll end this session we will continue with another story what a great powerful session thank you for listening bye bye